Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Claire and I'm back with another freaking video. So guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make fried chicken, honey. Yes, we're going to I'm going to be showing you guys how to make fried chicken. My chicken is already clean. I cleaned it with some um what is that on my chicken? He got a little bruise. I cleaned my chicken with some vinegar and lemon. So the chicken is already clean. So I'm gonna get to season it and I'm gonna get back to you guys. Well, these are the seasonings. These are the seasonings that I'm gonna be using for my fried chicken, honey. So those are the seasonings I'm going to be using for my chicken. And I'm going to get the seasoning up this meat, honey. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some slap your mama on this chicken. I never tried to slap your mama. Um, This is my first time trying it, but I seen it in the meat store. So it looked like it was selling pretty good. So I say, let me go ahead and try it. You know, it gotta, it gotta be good if it says slap your mama. So I put some of that on there. I'm gonna put me some chicken seasoning on my chicken. That slap your mama smell kind of strong, honey. Put me some um, chicken seasoning on my chicken, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and put me some garlic on my chicken. I put garlic on everything, y'all. I literally put garlic on everything. And I ain't got no measurements, cause y'all know, if I just sprinkle, and it always come out good. So I got me some, um, oh, got me some adobo. I put adobo on everything. Y'all gotta excuse my nails. I'm about to get my nails done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put me some adobo on that chicken. Yep, it may look like a lot of seasoning, but baby, it ain't. I got me some black pepper. Slap your mama kind of strong, honey. Got me some black pepper. Put that black pepper up, up in that thigh. Just like that. Like the black pepper. And I'm going to put some cayenne pepper. Because I want to be a little, little, put a little spice to it. The chicken. Maybe we're going to call this some hot and, hot and, no, we ain't going to call no hot and spicy. We're going to put a little bit of, a little bit of, a little bit of cayenne pepper. So also, I like to go in with a little mustard on my chicken too. Like a marinated, it's like a marinated baby. Put that mustard on there just like that. Baby, that's what that chicken looking like all seasoned up, honey. Yes, that's what the chicken look like all seasoned up. With the mustard and everything in it. Y'all may say, oh, she put mustard on her chicken. I sure did, because guess what? That mustard gonna make that chicken nice and golden, baby, and give it some flavor. So, yes, that's the chicken. So, what you wanna do is you wanna get your chicken, and I'm gonna put my flour on it. That's about how much flour that I'm gonna put in the chicken. I love to season my flour as well. So, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of this black pepper. Complete season. And a little bit of the slap your mama. Go on here to sprinkle that on top of my flour. I usually put it in a bag and shake it all up, but I ain't got time for that. 
so I'm just gonna go ahead with my clean hands and I'm gonna mix cover my chicken with the flour and then y'all I also gotta take these chickens I also gotta take this chicken and fold it so hold on I'm gonna get back to y'all when I get done so guys I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to fold the chicken so I'm gonna fold it like that and I'm gonna put it in a pot that. I'm gonna put in a pot so I can have room to fold all the other chickens and I'm gonna transfer it back over. You don't have to do it like this, but this is how I'm doing it. You can just keep folding them out the inside the, 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 the bowl. But I'm gonna do it like this and then I'm gonna transfer it over. Why are you going so far back? So guys, you just take the, the wing and you fold it behind the drumstick like that shake some flour take the wing fold it and it's gonna be like that folding the lid folding the wing behind the lid just like that and my hands is clean take it fold it so yep I'm gonna do this to all my chickens and then I'm gonna transfer them back to this bowl with this flour. Cause this pot that I'm putting them in, that's gonna be my pot that I'm gonna keep them in after I fry the chicken. So yep. Oh, that one ain't got no lid. So just toss them all in there. Take that, fold it, just like that. Take this one, fold it. And this one can't eat, and that one folded. So, guys, that is the chicken all folded. So, I'm gonna take them and put them back in the bowl. I just want to put them in the pot so I can have room and see which ones I needed to fold and which ones I didn't need to fold. I usually don't do it like that, but I don't know why I made things complicated today. Yep, and then you just transfer it back to the bowl and get the grease hot, hot grease and fry the chicken. Okay guys, so I have the stove on high heat and um, this is the pan that I usually fry my chicken in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my grease. I use, um, I use vegetable oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my grease into this uh, deep frying skillet pan. And so this is, I'm gonna use the whole container of cooking grease. Literally the whole thing, cause this is kind of like a deep frying pan. Not frying pan, but skillet. And it's always enough to fry the chicken. So I use the whole thing of the vegetable oil. And I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes until it gets good and hot. You want your grease to be piping hot. So guys, you will know when your grease is good and hot, when you start to see the bubbles at the bottom of the pot and you hear that popping sound. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drop some chicken into the, the, the pan. That's my chicken, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop it into the hot grease. I try to put mine in a circle like that, and then I'm gonna pop, pop one in the middle. So guys, that's my chicken. I have it on high, so I'm gonna reduce the heat to about seven, cause my stove fry quick, and I'm gonna get back to you guys when the first batch is coming out of the grease. I turned it down some, because you don't want the chicken to cook too much. I'm gonna cover it also. I'm gonna cover it also and let it let the heat stay in. So guys, so guys, I turned the chicken down some so that um it's cuz I don't want it to cook too much on the outside and not cook in the inside. So guys, I will get back to you guys when 
this chicken, the first batch of chicken, the first batch of the chicken come out. I'm washing my hands from the flour. So yes, I'm gonna get back to you guys when that first batch of chicken come out. So I can show y'all how crispy it looks, baby. Okay, I'm gonna get back to y'all. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of gonna stay on camera. So as the chicken cook for like, I'm gonna let it cook for like five minutes on one side, and then I'm gonna flip the chicken, and I'm gonna let it cook on the other side because your chicken. It takes a total of 20 minutes to cook your chicken, depending on how big it is. These chicken wings are not that big, so it takes about 20 minutes to cook a batch of fried chicken. So I'm gonna let it cook for like five minutes on this side, and then I'm gonna flip it, and I'm gonna let it cook five minutes on the other side. I'm just gonna keep rotating, you know, keep rotating. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep rotating, Um. I'm gonna just keep rotating the chicken and keep flipping it and flipping it and flipping it until it's done. I got fried chicken. That's the end result of the fried chicken, y'all. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Turn your post notification bell on so you can know anytime that we're posting a video or review or vlog, mukbang, tutorial, review, anything. Tell your mama, your sister, your cousin, your auntie, your friend to subscribe to the channel to watch some videos. Y'all see this chicken? And if you want to garnish your chicken with parsley after it's done, do it while it's hot. Bye, y'all. See y'all in the next video. Baby, what you want to do? I'm ready to put up on you. Man, this I'm gonna do it again. This type of shit, heavy wine. Last minute, just sit down.